Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to change your background on your login screen. You might have seen previously in my uh, laptop unboxing that I have a different login screen and I've been asked the question how do you change that screen? Um, for my background I have, let's see if I can go check it out, let's go to my Photoshop, I think it's like there's just something I made a couple and I was deciding which one I liked. Um, and I forget which one I chose exactly, but it was one of those, and I designed it myself and stuff. Um, but I'm just today I'm just going to show you how to change it to your own picture, so you can select what you want as your background. Um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is just you're going to want to hold the Windows key, which is the key that looks like the flag on your uh, keyboard on the bottom left. Hold that down and hit R. Now I'm just going to mention this. This is only for Windows 7. You cannot use this way for Windows Vista. Um, so Windows 7, hold the Windows key and hit R and this will come up with the run thing. Then you type reg edit. It's going to ask you if you want to allow. Just click yes. Okay, so now what it's going to do, well, what is that? Alright, now what it is going to do is it's going to bring you here um, and ask you where to go. I have some notes on the right um, about exactly where to go. Um, so on mine I have to go to local machine. It's always in one of these um, but I'm pretty sure it's for local machine with all of them. So it's H-K-E-Y local machine. <coughs> you can go to drop down menu. Then you're going to go to software. Then you're going to go to um, Microsoft. Where is that? There you go. Microsoft. Then you go scroll down to Windows, just Windows, not Windows anything, just Windows. Then you go to current version, which is right there. <coughs> then you're going to go to authentication, which is right there. Go to drop down menu. Um, then you go to log on UI. Then you're going to click background. So you're in the background settings. So now what you want to do is you'll see default and OEM background. You're going to double click OEM background, just double click it, and it'll bring up um, the value. So what you have to do is change it. Most of the time I think the default is zero, so that'll just be zero. You just change it to one, leave it as hexadecimal, and just click OK. And then you're done. You just get out of that. Then um <coughs> to actually set what picture you want it as. And what we just did, all it does is change it so you can customize it. But now to actually change um, the picture that it's going to display, you're going to go into your uh, C drive. Um, go to your C drive. You're going to go to, um, I forget exactly what it says. You can go to Windows, uh, System 32. Yeah, there it is. You just gotta go to your System32 folder. I think you just go to your C drive, like I showed you. Windows, and then 60, system, not 60, uh, System32. Now you're gonna go to OOB. I'll show you that in a sec. You'll see what, you'll see what I mean by OOB. Right, OOB, O-O-B-E. It's a file, it's right there. Don't click it. Now you'll see, um, a bunch of files and stuff like that. Um, you're just gonna go into the info folder. In big capital letters, go to info. Now you see a bunch of icons and stuff like that. You're just going to go into the background folder. And now <coughs> you see that this is my background that I have. I have made it. And what you have to do is when you decide which which picture you want, whether you made it or you found it online or it's a current picture that you have on your computer or something like that. You're going to want to get rid of this. I suggest <coughs> taking the original one that came with the computer and putting it on your desktop or in a separate folder just as a backup in case you ever want to set it back again. Um, then you're going to drag your own picture into here and change the name. The name has to say background default. And I think default has to be capitalized. So it's background default and it's capital D for default. And um, it, the file has to be um, under 256 KB. Now you can see in my properties that this picture is um, let's see, size 
126 kb, so it's actually half of the size that it needs to be, but it works out just fine. As long as it's less, less than 256 kb, it'll work, and you have to rename it to background default dot jpg, obviously. It has to be a J JPEG image, JPG, not BMP or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so once you've done all that, you uh, change the name. You brought a. F Actually, let me start over. Once you have changed the the um the value in regedit to one, you have gone into the oob info and backgrounds um folder, and you take out the original and back it up somewhere. You drag in your own picture into this uh, folder. You rename it background default. And as long as the picture is under 256 kilobytes, it will work fine. Then you just um, exit out and just say yes, you want to save or whatever it asks you to do. It might ask you if you, you, uh, you're sure you want to do this or something like that. And yeah, just click yes. And once you click the log off or switch user or something like that button, It'll, it should work fine. If it doesn't work, then you did something wrong. Either the value went back to zero or something like that, or you, the five, the picture wasn't under 256 KB, or you didn't put the capitalization right in background default, or something like that went wrong. And you'll just have to double check and go through it again and make sure everything went according to plan. And if not, then there's something wrong. Maybe you don't have Windows 7. But, um, you should have Windows 7 if you're doing that, and I said that in the beginning. But, um, if you have any issues, you can leave me a comment, and I'll try to help you out. But, um, thanks for watching, and if you have any more uh, questions for any other things that you've seen that you want some help with, because I know how to do a lot of stuff on Windows, um, just ask me, and I'll try to make a video for it. Just give me some suggestions. I'll be happy to make you guys a video. Um, so do that, and uh, subscribe rate, and, uh, not subscribe rate, you don't want to rate, you want to thumbs up because there is no more rating. So, um, you just want to thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and comment, and all that stuff. Let me know what you thought, if you're going to do this, if it has worked for you or not. Um, let me know. I'd love to hear your stories if it's worked or not, if there's any problems. Definitely let me know. And until next time, I'll see you later, guys. I'm going to 2024. Peace out.